pretty good. Let me go ahead and check my tool hole again. I'm going to do it on the side where you can maybe kind of see a better view of what I'm doing. I just take, this is my, this will be my leveling mark right there. Uh, and I just barely get that thing where the edge is just shown on both of those holes. I get it symmetrical, I get it the same. I'm still riding that line just a little bit. So what that is showing me is that this bottom can roll in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and tap that with a hammer. Check that again just to get it right on to show you some of the fit up involved uh, as we go along. So what, what I try to do is, this thing is real loose. If I just kind of crank this turn up just a touch, it's going to, it's going to, the weight of this is going to hold down on it, and then when I crank this jack up, it's just going to, it's going to squeeze that together a little bit. That's what I've done. Now let me check it again. A little better, a little more, it wouldn't hurt. My gap is closing up on me, and it looks pretty comparable to the top now. It was a little bigger before. That's good. I'm going to live with that. That's perfect. You say, of course you're going to live with it. It's perfect, right? I knew you'd see it my way. Oh, they knew you. Okay, here we go. Back side, because my, my face is still good. Uh, jacking that up and down that way should not have changed that at all. Yeah, I closed my gap a little bit. We turned my heat up to about 95. All right. I'll go ahead and put one in this side. Put one in the bottom. tacks in it. I go ahead and grind my tacks. Feather those edges. And then I'm ready to set the camera in position for you to watch me put the root in and we'll go on like we've been doing uh, on this particular method. Okay, I just want to show you how this thing is set up. On this back side, I've got a bungee cord. It's just the average deal. You can buy it at any hardware store, Kmart, Walmart. Uh, I've got a knot tied in it with the end cut off, or I can just snap that. At any point, I could tie a knot in that, tighten it up, loosen it up. Uh, so I've got that thing bound at the back because the weight of that wants to go down but I don't want it to fall off the stand so I've just got that thing suspended there I've got it held in so it would have to pull the whole jack stand uh, over so I've got extra weight holding it down and I've got the chain vise holding the top secure kind of putting some pressure on it so that way I can I can go ahead and roll this quarter it as I will and I'll quarter that then I'll roll it down I'll quarter the top and I'll work my way around like that uh, I wanted to show you that you know you just have to do whatever it takes uh, when you work by yourself uh, and I work by myself just about all the time uh, I'm used to it I'm comfortable with it I enjoy it um, you know I work with other people when I have to as well but on my own payroll I just can't afford to pay anybody to work with me uh, and the only time I usually get someone to work with me is if I'm working with a roustabout outfit in the oil field that the contractor supplied and I've just hired in as a welder 
So I wanted to show you that. Uh, you just improvise and do whatever it takes. I'm going to go ahead and roll that around. I don't have to put my chain clamps on it to pull it. I can just quarter it, stop, roll it, quarter it again, and, and continue welding like that. So I wanted to show you that uh, for your information.